former Manila Representative Zenaida Naida Ang Ping will head the presidential management staff in Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr.'s Malacanang with the crucial task of helping decide the course of action for the incoming president. Incoming Press Secretary Trixie Cruz Angeles announces Ang Ping's appointment at a press briefing on Monday, May 30. Ang Ping was a fixture of the Marcos campaign, and in a leaked Victory Party video, Marcos calls her one of the dispersing officers. The PMS is an agency in Malacanang that assists the president in deciding on policies and courses of action. Cruz Angeles also announces Erwin Tulfo as president-elect Marcos's pick to lead the Department of Social Welfare and Development. She mentions how Tulfo has been in the public service doing social work for three decades and was awarded Best Public Service Program host. Tulfo is the brother of incoming Senator Rafi Tulfo, who also rose to fame for his TV programs. In 2019, Irwin made headlines after he called DSWD Secretary Rolando Bautista crazy on his radio program, and after the Sangguni Ang Panglungsod or City Council of the Pitan in Zamboanga del Norte declared Tulfo persona non grata for demeaning the town during a visit. Banco Central ng Pilipinas Assistant Governor Amena Pangandaman is also appointed as the next Department of Budget and Management Secretary. Pangandaman accepts the nomination in a statement and says she will prioritize modernizing the budget system and incorporating sustainability in government spending as the budget chief. Pangandaman is also the chief of staff of incumbent BSP Governor Benjamin Jokno at the Central Bank. Jokno will be heading the Department of Finance under the Marcos administration. President-elect Marcos Jr. also chooses IT expert Ivan John Uy to head the Department of Information and Communications Technology. Uy was previously appointed to the then Commission on Information and Communications Technology in 2010 during the Aquino administration before it was dissolved in 2011. Meantime, incumbent Liloan Mayor Cristina Frasco is also chosen as the Secretary of the Department of Tourism. Frasco was re-elected as mayor of Liloan Town in Cebu this year, and during the campaign, she served as the spokesperson of Vice President-elect Sara Duterte. Frasco is part of the Garcia and Frasco political clans in Cebu. She is the daughter of incumbent Governor Gwendolyn Garcia and wife of Cebu 5th District Representative Duke Frasco. If Frasco accepts the post, Duke Frasco's cousin and vice mayor-elect Aljo Frasco will assume the mayoralty. For the second time, the Commission on Appointments delays the confirmation hearing of five ad interim Duterte appointees to three constitutional offices. The CA convenes Monday, May 30 for the confirmation bid of Comelec Chair Saidamin Pangarungan, Comelec Commissioners George Garcia and Amy Neri, Commission on Audit Chair Rizalina Hustol, and Civil Service Commission Chair Carlo Nograles. But the CA suspends the committee meeting after only around 20 minutes, as Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Zubiri suggests giving President-elect Ferdinand Marcos Jr. a free hand in making new appointments. The five are at risk of being bypassed if their ad interim appointments are not confirmed before June 3, when the 18th Congress adjourns its session. The hearing has been postponed to Wednesday, June 1. Senator Coco Pimentel expresses worries that bypassing some of the ad interim officials will be a wasted opportunity. But Zubiri, who is eyeing the Senate presidency under the Marcos administration, still pushes for the suspension, citing Section 20 of the CA rules, which allows such a move. In making the move, Zubiri channels former Senate Minority Leader Juan Ponce Enrile, who in February 2016 tried to block the confirmation of five diplomats and two CSC appointees. He quotes Enrile as saying, Appointing representatives that will last in their positions for years deprives the next president of the right to choose his own representatives. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The World Health Organization says monkeypox constitutes a moderate risk to overall public health at global level. This after cases were reported in countries where the disease is not typically found. The WHO says the risk of monkeypox could become high if it is established as a human pathogen and infects high-risk groups like children or immunosuppressed persons. In a statement, the health agency says, as of May 26, 
257 confirmed cases and 120 suspected cases have been reported from 23 member states that are not endemic to the virus. Monkeypox is an infectious disease that is usually mild and is endemic in parts of West and Central Africa. It is spread by close contact, so it can be relatively easily contained through measures such as self-isolation and hygiene. Most of the cases reported so far have been detected in the United Kingdom, Spain, and Portugal. Top Gun Maverick pulls in blockbuster ticket sales in its opening weekend. It collects at least $124 million from a record 4,732 North American cinemas. Tom Cruise, who 36 years ago starred as pilot Pete Maverick Mitchell in the original film, returns to the role as a captain who trains a new group of cocky aviators for a crucial assignment. Cruz, alongside other actors on the film, underwent training with the United States Navy and the Top Gun Training School to prepare for the real-life stunts in the movie. Paramount and Skydance's All-American Action Adventure is expected to collect $151 million through Monday, May 30, and is the highest-grossing debut in Cruz's 40-year career. Despite delays surrounding the film's release, Top Gun Maverick continues a stellar box office streak for Paramount and marks the studio's fifth movie this year to open in first place. Red Velvet is confirmed to return to the Philippines to perform at the BU The World Will Adjust event on July 22 at the SM Mall of Asia Arena. The five members invite their fans to attend the event in a brief video posted on Sunday, May 29, and ends a clip by greeting their fans in Filipino. The event will also feature P-pop acts BGYO, Beanie, and Lady Peepai. Red Velvet, composed of Irene, Sulgi, Wendy, Yeri, and Joy, released their latest album The Reve Festival 2022, Feel My Rhythm, in March 2022. The last time the group was in the Philippines was in 2019. <music> 